Hello, hi, and welcome. This is Eat Your Greens here, and uh, before we start, I want to extend my greatest thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers, which I honestly did not expect to hit so soon, but I guess that's what happens when you make a video about Sophia and people enjoy it. Uh, so to celebrate, I decided to do something very, very silly. I'm going to uh, be making a engage character ranking list of some sort using a uh, unit sorter which is a very weird way to rank units. Uh, it's hard to explain, it's very, it's easier to just to watch the video and gawk at my uh, unit analysis, which I did without like actually researching anything. Uh, but I hope no one takes it very seriously because it's kind of bad. Uh, but it, it's fun. I, I want to have fun and do something really silly, so here it is. Enjoy. All right, we're here at the Fire Emblem Sorter. Um, website, uh, I guess it's, this is one of the websites they use now. Um, and we're gonna do Engage. <laughs> and an Engage Sorter, oh no. This is, um, I wasn't planning to make it another official Eat Your Greens uh, Engage tier list for a while until I was done with my, at least until I was done with my current manning uh stream uh playthrough um but because we hit 100 subs i thought you know this is a this is a very special occasion so might as well do it might as well do it for the lols do it for the clicks and do it for um for fun um and also so using a sorter is kind of an archaic way of doing it, it it's such a weird way to rank units because it's basically purely on matchups between each other, which I'm not really sure how that actually really qualifies a unit's um, viability, but uh, you know, it's a fun way to do it and it's not one I have to take too seriously. So um, this is just gonna be for fun. Like I don't really care how this actually turns out. It might be funny to look at and see what I actually um, think between each other, each of each of the units being displayed here. Um, I guess I, to go over my experience with Engage, I've done one completed Manning playthrough with DLC. Um, I guess you can say this is a DLC uh, tier list, but I don't really care. I don't think the um, DLC characters are in th this uh, sorter. I'm not too sure. If we see them, I'm just going to disqualify them and uh, mark the. Uh, the main line, the vanilla character as the winner, or if they're both DLC, I'll just t tie them. Um, but yeah, I I've done a, a playthrough with DLC. Um, I had I was originally uploading it as a let's play, but I decided I didn't really want to upload it anymore. It takes it take too long to upload all the videos, and it also the gameplay I was pl I was recording was horrendously bad. So I decided, you know what, whatever, I'll just work on like the Sofia video instead uh, which was worth it and then I decided oh I'm gonna play I like engage I want to play more of it again and do it justice so I um, I'm doing the stream right now but um, that being said I sort of feel like I kind of have an idea what the tier list should look like at least where units relatively should be um, I haven't really participated in the ever so essential toxic engaged discourse i try to avoid that because it's just not fun i rather play the game and i also rather play the game to figure out what's going on and what i think actually matters besides you know just arguing with people on the reddit or whatever or like spending hours on oife bot um trying to theorycraft weird builds that would work uh, i rather just play the game and use those weird builds and see how they how funny it would be um i guess with criteria in mind, I, I I know I just talked about how I play with the DLC, but there are some standards I, I actually want to keep. Um, I don't want to I don't want to take into account like using the well. I think using the well is stupid. I'm not gonna um, the well is disqualified. Um, I'm banning bond rings, so no citrine dire thunder. Um, DLC emblems, I guess, can be allowed. Um, I'll just like. I don't think it will matter too much because anyone can use DLC emblems, so there's that. Um, 
and obviously once again no dlc like exiting log characters because they suck um all right let's begin yeah whatever oh god um i don't even want to tear sami i think that like the sami joke is kind of annoying so i'm gonna tie oh okay here we go um jade i use jade in my um let's play and uh Wow, she was really bad. I don't even think, um... I want to give her credit for the fact that she can instant promote, because all the Brodian characters can do that, and... I th she's by far the worst of them, I think. Like... Turn and Lapis? I don't I don't know if I want to jump into Lapis right away, but... It's between her and Lapis who's the worst, and... I definitely think it's Jade. Um, where's Yunaka? Yunaka's fallen off quite a bit since like day one but i still think she's fairly good i think yunaka will be like one of your better units as long as she gains ex has exclusive access to uh a forged dagger um so i'm just gonna just pick yunaka here gold mary versus bushron bushron joins a lot earlier but that does not mean he's better by any means um i think he's kind of a liability a lot of the time in the early game just you just want him to use... You'd rather, like, have him do combat through his backup skill. Um, his backup class, rather than... Actually using him in real combat. I I'm just gonna go with Gold Mary. I think Gold Mary has, like, the niche of just being... Um... A physical tank that, um... Won't have too much defense, so... It won't be overkill. And that she can, um... I don't know, I there's some Gold Mary tech I like. I I'll just put Gold Mary, it's easy. Ooh, Saline versus Pendrail. I think this is also fairly straightforward that it's Pendrail. Uh, Saline's okay in the early game. In fact, she's pretty good for the, uh, for the Fear arc, but then kind of falls off a cliff basically immediately afterwards. I guess you still use her on the, um, on the bridge. Uh, but Pendrail's Pendrail. Um, he's... I think I've been, I was a little disappointed with his performance using them, but I, it's also way too early for me to say that in my um, stream. I also just have not given him anything, really, besides a reclass. I'll just say Pendrail. Okay, the Chloe's in the game. Alir's in the game. Okay, um, I think this is very straightforward. It's Etie once again. Um, Etie, I think, is underrated. Um... Because I don't think she, I think she's actually one of the better units you can train in amongst the Fearnay squad. Uh, I've been told of the strategy that you give her Sigurd for Chapter Four, and that so by the time you get to Chapter Five, she'll have momentum and you can do a lot of crazy like Sigurd tech with Etie. Um, also, Etie is usually um, has a lot of good strength and can one shot flyers up to a. Um, pretty decent point of the game whereas Tamara just is fairly atrocious in terms of her like just stats from what I remember and doesn't have like doesn't have like great anything really uh you're if you're using Tamara you're using her for the meme of the rude sandstorm uh otherwise like you just put her in warrior and then I don't know I, I don't I don't know the comparison off the top of the head, which is the better in Warrior, but I'm just going to say Etie has... Etie pre-Warrior actually has some stuff going on, whereas Tamara pre-Warrior does not really do anything besides maybe backup attacks. There is like some contributions in her join chapter that kind of are nice, like using jabs to break sword units or whatever. But that that's so minor. I, I'm just going with Etie. Uh, Marin versus Fogato. Um... I don't know too much about Fogato. I'm trying to use him on my current stream, and um, it's going very weirdly. Uh, I've heard, I think you're, the current idea with him is that you're supposed to use Radiant Bow Erica, which is um, that's kind of expensive giving him Erica, but oh well. Uh, Radiant Bow is not too contested if you don't have anyone else using it. So he seems he seems maybe decent. Uh, whereas Marin, I think is fairly um good in a variety of builds you can just keep her in wolf knight and she'll be you know fine um although i i kind of of the belief that Marin is can be made into a Higetsu number two 
um, if you're willing to. And it's not that hard to do it, honestly. Um, I know I discussed this with Jono once before, but I think day one, Marin would have been actually the better of her and Kinketsu because she actually joins with more SP. Um, so she can like she has like 500 more SP, which is quite significant. Now that doesn't really matter now because we have the SP SP books, even like the vanilla SP books. So um, it's a little less contested between her and Kigetsu, and I still I probably would put Kigetsu above her. But um, that being said, just being able to be a Kigetsu number two is good, um, and it very and the and the cheapest Kigetsu number two, I in my opinion, there's gonna. There are people that say that you can make a lot of units Kigetsu number two, but I do believe Marin is the cheapest one to do it. And uh, she's pretty good on her own right. And she can, yeah, she could just stay in Wolf Knight if you really want to. Um, she'll fall off in that class eventually, but she'll do fine. I, I, I'll i go with Marin. Um, Alir male versus Louis. Uh, I'll just refer, I'll refer to the Leers as, um, just as a single entity. I don't really think the gender makes a huge difference between them, honestly. Um, and that being said, I just don't think Louis is very standout past, like, chapter 5. Um, I honestly think he's kind of overrated. Uh, I'll just... Whereas, Alir has gone up, in my um, opinion, recently. Uh, mainly because of Griffin Knight, but um, my experience with using Alir in my first playthrough was that I thought that uh, I didn't read. Really I kept him in Divine Dragon most of the time, in fact all the time, and I kind of used him as a uh, spur attack bot, which I actually appreciated, because I was very grateful for every bit of damage I can put out. Um, so I thought they were okay, um, but now that I know about the Griffin tech, like the Griffin Rider tech, I just think Alir just outshines Louis in a lot of ways. I'm just going to go with Alir. Fram's in the game. Sadal's in the game. Okay, Rosado versus Alfred. This is kind of a weird matchup. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to go with Rosado because I like Rosado more. Um, that being said, I know people don't like Rosado. Um, I'm not too sure. Because I, I, they're honestly like almost similar, similar in terms of when you would want to use them. Uh, I think my, the way I would put it, it here, or at least comparing these two, is that I think Rosado is acceptable for way more, ma like, way more maps than Alfred would be acceptable on, um, which is a weird way to put it. Like, Alfred, I think, is acceptable in the, in the, in the Fear and A arc. I think he's a bit underrated, honestly. But that, that basically, he, he's basically viable until you can start, you get more units to replace him, and then he just falls off a cliff. Um, Rosado, his base strength's kind of bad, but um, I, I think he has like a 65% gro growth in Wyvern, which I know, I know it's relying on growths, but I, I, I like it. When I used him in my playthrough, I didn't think he was that bad, honestly. I thought he was actually quite good. But I might be alone with that. I'm just going to pick Rosado because I think it's funny. And I also just think um, being acceptable from chapter 16 all the way up to like maybe endgame. I don't know. That's like, it is kind of like babying him. But it's better than babying Alfred the whole game. I'm just going to pick Rosado. So in the game. Uh, Ivy versus Bune. I'm like not the biggest Ivy fan as a unit in the world. But Bune sucks so much. I'm just going to go with Ivy. It's very easy. Uh, John's in the game. Mavie versus Hortensia. Um, I'm not too sold on Mavie being like this very cheap unit you can use in endgame. Um, maybe I just don't know the correct build. I made him a halberdier in my play, my first playthrough, which probably was a, just a gigantic mistake. Um, whereas Hortensia, I think. She's way more impactful in the maps where you have Mavie playable than Mavie will ever be. Um, Hortensia is just the best warp skipper in the game. Um, fairly pretty easy to use. I know, I don't know, I'm gonna see if I really want to value Hortensia higher than I usually do because 
than I, no, or, or excuse me, as I already do um, in my playthrough, because I don't know how, I don't really know the tech for her prior to getting Micaiah back, so I might be eating my words, but I do think Hortensia is just kind of busted. And in this case, yeah, between her and Mavi, I'm, I'm picking Hortensia. Uh, who cares? Ooh, yay, um, should I say more? It's just Kagetsu. Like, I like Yunaka, but it's Kagetsu. Gold Mary versus Amber. Oh, this is interesting. Um, Gold Mary again is just, has the very weird niche of being super tank, like a super tank in Great Knight. I think that's what you want to make her a Great Knight. I tried Wyvern, it didn't really work, but maybe I didn't invest well into her. Um, but as a Great Knight, I think she just has that role. It's like, I'm going to bait enemies, physical enemies to me because I can take hits. Um, which is cool. It's, it's a cool, like, gimmick for a character. But Amber is just... I'm very surprised how good Amber is. And I am using. I don't even think I'm using the correct build on him. I'm, I'm using him as a Wolf Knight in my um, current playthrough. I've seen him in, in Wyvern, and I'm very shocked of how well he actually performs. I This guy... I've seen people like say he is possibly amongst the um not maybe the S tier units but like the the upper end of the A tier units and depending on how hard you can push him I think he actually might be there. I I'm, I'll pick Amber. Uh Pandro versus Linden. Well, Pandro is just basically Linden that joins way before Linden and is available for maps like chapter 17 which are you want Pendro in and you want Pendro in chapter 13. Um, Linden... I, f I, I don't know too much about Linden. I f I've been hearing people say he's actually overrated now, which is weird. Um, I don't think it's that controversial. I've, I just picked Pendro. Uh, Sailing versus Linden? Oh, this is weird. I, I don't know, honestly, between these two. Um... Because it's like, do I value Sailing's kind of broken, early, like broken like early game where she's like broken for like two chapters, or do I value Linden for being like a flunky, a useful flunky in the late game? I don't know. This one, like honestly, I want. This is a coward option. I I, I want to avoid hitting tie, but like this one, I I have no idea. Honest, like this one is so so tough for me. Um, I think I'll, I actually honestly prefer Sailing. Uh, Chloe versus Claude. I think this is the easiest Chloe win ever. Bond's in the game. Um, Aaliyah versus Diamond. Um, even back then, I think I would have picked Aaliyah. Uh, Diamond was fun. Was I thought Diamond was good before I used Soul Diamond. I used Soul Diamond for one chapter, I thought, oh wow, that's awesome. And then the chapter immediately afterwards, he stopped being good in, with Soul, and then just became outdated. I, man, they did him so dirty, I, I feel so bad for him. Uh, but Diamond is in the game. Uh, Eti, oh no, 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 god damn it. Oh no, oh this is bad. I actually have to talk about it. No. 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 Oh. Oh, God. Okay, um... From my experience... Um... I'm using that TM I play my current playthrough. Um, I'm actually using her. Um... I want to use Alcaris, but I decided uh, uh, I'm too lazy. I'm not going to use Alcaris. Um... I don't think there's that much, uh, like, I think it's just about, it, it really depends on what you, as the player, value, like, do you value, um, ETA, they, they, they negate each other out so hard, like, I don't know what Alcaris hit rates are, but I'm assuming they're, like, they're gonna be better than ETA, um, but, I don't know, like, I think you can patch ETA's hit rates up if you got full focus, I think, is what, people are saying, or if you like really wanted to get like the hit plus skill for her. Um, Alcris 
And then she'll have, like, I think I think she'll have the strength to, um, still kill things. I, I'm, like, I have her right now, and I, I don't think I've given her any stat boosts. I've, I've fielded her for basically every chapter, which might be, like, expensive. I'm not too sure. And I gave her Sigurd. And I have Lin on her now. So, like, I, I am using emblems on her, but it's also because I think she's one of the better units that can, on my team right now. Um, that can afford to be using the emblems. I, I think I could, like, give the emblem to Marin if I really want to, but I also think Marin is good on her own merit. Um, so, in that sense, yeah, it is good if you want to use her. And I also think Alcris is probably good if you want to use him. Um, that being said, like, I've heard, like, some, like, I've, I watched some Atano streams, and I think he's, like, commented on Alcris not hitting benchmarks uh, for one-rounding, like, units, like, in the late game. Um, I think the specific example that comes to mind is, like, a Chapter 18, like, brigand on one of the boats. Um, Ete was able to kill, um, without, like, any fancy gimmicks, whereas Alcris required, like, a rock. And, like, relying on on Luna Prox can be very dangerous. Uh, I don't know. I, this is really, like, one of the weirdest debates of a, um, in the franchise history. Um, because I also just think it, like, doesn't really matter in the end of the game, because, like, at the end of the day, because it, you could just use one or the other, and I don't think it's that much of a penalty for using them. It's not like, um... Like, I'm trying to think of, like, other examples of where, like, this debate was, like, silly. Like, Geese versus Gonzalez, or Edward versus Mia. Um... Where I think one, like, one or the other was, like, just actually kind of trash. You don't, like, why would you use them? Whereas th these two are both, I think, pretty good if you really wanted to use them. They're not the best in the in the game, obviously, but I also think they're just they're good. Um, I don't. I think Alcris was overrated at the start of the game, perhaps, um, which is why the perception of them is weird. Um, yeah, but I can't shoot hit Ty because that's um that's cheating. The thing is, like, I I praise Etie for that, for like. What I've been saying on my stream, but I I also giving her Sigurd is kind of expensive um, for the early game. Like you could give it to Vonda if you want. I I think Vonda is worse though. Um, but you can also give it to Chloe later on, and Chloe's pr definitely better. Um, I don't know. And Alcris I think is good on his own merit. Yeah, this is really hard. This is, like, honestly a very hard matchup. You know what? I I'm, I'm actually gonna pick Ete. I Ete is a body that exists in, um, in Fear the Fear and A squad. I'm gonna pick Ete just because of her contributions on, like, Chapter 5, Chapter 4, Chapter 3. Um, but let me know. I, I, I don't think there's, like, a huge difference. Like, if it's... If I had to assign like a numerical value, I think it's basically she wins by like two percent over Acris. Now maybe it, it's more than two percent, but I, I think you can use either or if you really wanted to. It's, it's just that Etia exists in an earlier part of the game. It, it, it's a weird. It's like a weird, like a inverse of the um, Sue versus Shin debate, where Sue actually is in like the hardest chapter in the game. She doesn't do much, but like, no, no, she does a lot. Whatever. I'm just gonna pick uh, Etia before I, like, jumble my words even harder. Okay, th I think this is very obvious. It's Alcaris. And I engage versus Marin. Uh, it's Marin. Uh, it's also gonna be Fogato. Like, Anna's too much of a meme. Like, you have to, you have to train her. I don't think it's that bad to train her, and then you can honestly just keep her in Warrior and then give her the the Radiant Bow later on. But, like, that's a long time you have to wait. For it to get your own weapon. Whereas Fogato, like, he has to wait for Radiant Bow as well, but uh, it's not that long of a wait, and he's good before he joins, or before that bow comes, so it's Fogato. Um, 
Alir versus Lapis. Um, I'm using Lapis in my current playthrough and doing the meme where I give her every stat booster from the DLC. Um, that being said, I don't even then I don't think Lapis is that good. I I have no idea why people put Lapis so high in like DLC tier list because I'm like, you could just do that with Chloe. And Chloe is infinitely better. Or you can give it to any other unit. You can give it to Alcris. Um I don't know. I, I I'll just go with this. Lapis versus Louie though is weird. Um because I do think Lapis will be better than Louis if you invested into her. But uh, you have to invest into her, which, like, it's expensive to, like, give her the stat boosters if you're using the DLC. But it's also expensive to use, like, the Master Seal and, uh, like, a second seal. Because you don't want to be in... You don't want to be in Sword Master. You can be in Hero, which is, might be okay. I, I'm... Hero might be okay. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's still like that's investment. Louis is pretty cheap, and he also is a, a ground for chapter five and chapter six. Um, I'm going with Louis. Fram versus Vale. Um, Fram is a very very weird unit, I will say. Um, in the fact that. Uh, I, I'm really surprised that people don't think Chain Guard is good. Like, Chain Guard's a guaranteed way to negate 100% of the damage from my attack. For, like, the cost of that, she has to be at full health, which is not that hard to do. Um, granted, anyone can do it, and then also, Chain Guard's not like the... You don't need Chain Guard all the time. Um, but, it, yeah, that... Uh, it's also like, you don't need Fram all the time. It's, she's appreciated in the early game. Uh, I'll, I'll give it that. And like, you can use her if you want. It's, it's funny. I, I do, I'm like, I'm using her in my current stream playthrough. And I think she might be the worst unit on my team because she just has to run around and try to get, try to find things to do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, whereas Veo is cheap. I don't think Veo is like good as like a Goto or a mirror weird archetype who cares what the archetype she is but like as a late game i don't like i hate her accuracy it's awful um but she does have like a tech for like the end game where you just give her like bond blast or dragon fist excuse me i don't know um they're both like weird utility units hey. I'll go with Veil. I think Veil is like a safe, can be a fail safe. Whereas, like, Fram's nice, but like, she is not necessary. Um, I think Vonda's been underrated, um, but like, that does not skyrocket him to being as useful as Sadal. You know, a dancer who you're going to use in every map. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Sadal. Uh, but Vonda's in the game. Uh, Rosado's in the game. Alfred's in the game. Ooh, Citrine versus Panette. I've been. See, I seen the um, the Danny Doyle video on Panette where she claims that Panette's basically the best unit in the game, and I can see it. Um, Kagetsu is good, and Kagetsu is a lot easier to use. Um, and Kagetsu still might be the best character in the game, but um, his versatility means that he also stretches himself. Can no, well, not stretches himself thin, but the fact that he can be replicated, but through another unit like Marin, kind of makes him less unique, whereas Panette is her own beast. She's like the only unit that will get like the 100% the crits easily, or just like that high crit before um, before you even get Wrath. Um, I don't know, I, I just, and she has that monstrous strength growth and the strength base in general. Um, even like when she past the point where you have the time to get her wrath, like her crit setups um, in play, if you're like just warp skipping maps, you then just give make her um, like a sword master or whatever, and have her load star rush things because she will have the highest strength to do that um, most of the time. I think yeah, I think that is very clearly in that ah, that apex of the unit pyramid. Um, like, if not 
better than I can get to than right next to him. Um, so I'll go with Panette. Like, Citrine is funny, and I think there's some stuff you can do with Citrine, but it's very clearly Panette here. Uh, Ivy versus Saphir. Um, I don't know too much about Saphir. Um, I don't know what people really think of her as a unit, besides that she can be a cheap flunky. Um, I'm not the biggest Ivy fan in the world. I hate, like, that RNG is her dump stat, but she joins a lot earlier than Saphir, and you know, has utility. Um, and also, like, Lindworm, as annoying as the combat can be in that class, is still a flying magic class that, you know, you can use rescue or, or whatever. Uh, I'll go with Ivy. I mean, yeah, she has high magic as well, so who knows? Maybe if you have Surge Tome, <laughs> she can actually hit something. Um, I do think Sapphire is better than Bunei. Um, oh, Battle of um, the units I don't like. Uh, I know Jono has kind of is trying to like do a Rena Zelkov Renaissance by saying that you can make Zelkov into Kagetsu number two. Um, I don't really like that idea because it involves giving him four levels, which it's not that hard to give him the four levels, but it's annoying because he has to wait. For four levels. Um, and then he also still has, like, I think still has the SP problem that Kigetsu would have. Whereas Marin reclass basically them after the map, she joins in and has more SP. Um, and I think it's just generally more versatile. And like, you can keep on Wolf Knight. I don't know. Um, that being said, like, I think Zelkov would probably be better than John. If you do, like, the funny, like... If you try to make him a Gigetsu 2, because being a Gigetsu 2 is... Like, a mid Gigetsu 2 is be better than being John. Where... You're from, but you join later. Uh, I'll just go with Zelkov. I like Hortensia. Yep, okay. Uh, Amber versus Gigetsu. I, I like Amber, but Gigetsu, I think, just sweeps. Um, Amber does sweep Yunaka though. Gold Mary versus Yunaka is, um, this one's weird again because Yunaka joins and one of the better units, like, definitely, I think, one of your better units during the early game, which, if, as long as she has access to, um, the, uh, Forged Dagger, which she will have for, like, at least three chapters. Like, you want, like, you want to do the Anna Paralogus ASAP, so you're gonna have- you'll have Yunaka with the dagger for that Paralog. You'll have Yunaka with the dagger for the bridge. And then, like... Um, Amber will start off as a Cav. For chapter... 8? Uh, yeah, 8. So you need, um, so... Yunaka's still gonna have the, dag the dagger for that chapter. Um... Which is good, like, those chapters can be... Especially chapter 8 can be, um, tricky. Um, but... Gold Mary is also just gonna be... Fairly standardly good. For the rest of the game after she joins, so... I'm gonna pick Gold Mary. It's easier. Inaka is a lot better than Bushron, I'll say that. Oh god, um... The thing with Bushiron is that... He joins earlier. Um... And... Even though I don't think it's that worth that much, this being a backup at that time where you need all hands on deck is appreciated. Uh, Jade can be ignored. Like, I, I don't think you need to deploy Jade ever. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Boucheron. Ooh, this is a this is a good matchup. Um, I think Chloe. I I like the Chloe at the. When I on my first playthrough, I thought she before I understood how Kagetsu worked, I thought Chloe was the the definitive best unit, uh, which is a very weird thing to say now. But um, uh, I think she's still good. Um, she's like maybe the freest lance, um, like sword griffin, like eleven sword bot in the game. And I, I don't know if that's controversial to say. Uh, but Pandro could probably do that as well. Um, I don't know, I think you, like, you can use both, honestly. I didn't use Pandrel in my first playthrough, because I was dumb and didn't realize he was good. 
Um, I think you could use both. Uh, Chloe joins earlier, but... No, no, she's actually still good in the early game. I don't know, the thing is, Chloe, I think, can be replaced. If you wanted to replace her. Whereas Pondrell is hard to replace for a while. I think I might go with Pandrail here. Chloe is a lot better than Saline though. Saline's is basically a big F you to Klon. Uh, I'm gonna say Linden is better than Klon. Uh, Etie versus Alir. I like Etie, but I'm gonna go with Alir here. I kind of think Etie is better than Diamond, not gonna lie. Alcris is definitely better than Diamond. Um, Tamara is not better than Diamond though. Tamara is in the game. Um, I do think Alir is rising in my st like has rising stocks in my mind, but I still kind of think Marin's better. Um, ah, this one's weird. I, I just don't know how good Fogato is, and like again, I think if you having to need Erica to be good is to be like comparatively good is expensive. I'm just gonna go with Alir. I don't know. I honestly do not know how good Fogato is. Um, that being said, he's good by a time where Louis is shit. So I'm just going to go with uh, Fogato. Excuse my French. I'm just going to go with Louis. Oh god, how do I... How do I even arse this? Uh, Lapis can insta-promote. Um, like right after Anna joins. I, I think Lapis just... Lapis can be something before Anna can actually get to be anything. I'll, I'll go with Lapis. Um, I think Sadal is the clear sweeper here because he joins a lot earlier and has a way more impactful role for a longer time than Veil will have. I'll go with Sadal. Um, Vander's underrated for sure. I don't know if that means I want to put him above Veil though. The thing is, I, I just, I think, like, Veil is, gr is like, grounded Ivy, but... But I, uh, I, that's not a good way to say it, because Veil has a lot of other properties that are good. I, I don't know, um, between, like... It, it, this, is, this is why, like, Sorter is weird, because, like, you have these matchups that are, like... You're like, oh, I have to compare these two? It's, it's so weird to, like, think about. Um... I really don't know. As weird as that might sound, seem to say, like... I want to say Veil, but I also think Vander is, like, very underrated. And I, I think, like, we should, like, try to remedy that. I'll, I'll just go with common, like, scent, like, knowledge here. But I, I kind of don't, like, don't feel good about this. Oh, uh, this one also is weird. Um... So, let me go over why I think Vonder is over underrated. Vonder is a 6 move unit in the early game. And 6 move is, means a lot. That means, like, he can try to make an attempt to go for the, the thief on uh, chapter 5 if he wants to. Or he can follow the person with the Sigurd emblem that going for that. Um, he has, a, like, I think at least 40 or close to 40 HP. Yeah, he has, like, 40 HP or at least a 40 HP. I'm not using Oife bot because I want to do this raw. But I think he has at least 40 HP at base. And compared to Louis, I think the 40 HP matters because he's tanking with his HP, which is perhaps the most important stat in some cases. And having that much more HP over like Louis, I think maybe like is like 30 or something. I think matters, even like when you compare the unit stat, like defense stats. Um, Vonder can also get momentum for chapter 5 if you really wanted to, um, which is big. And then Vonder also joins, I think, with 500 SP. Um, thus, he can like, he can inherit hit plus 10 if he wanted to for like the Brody arc, which does matter a lot. Um, so I do think, like, Vander's been underrated. 
by the community. Because he just has like a lot of unique, weird, like little things that I think make a difference. Um, but like I think if you were you to if you want to use From for a playthrough, you would keep her. So just, no, she's a healer. Um, whereas Vonder, you, you're kind of forcing yourself to use him for a long time if you actually want to like keep using him for a playthrough. I guess he can second seal if you want to. I don't know, it's a weird, it's a weird battle. I might go with Vonder. Um, uh, whatever. Uh, I like Rosado, but... Lynette. Ugh. I, I've been shown the light with Citrine. Um, she definitely can be good, even without Dire Thunder. And she'll be good during a time where Rosado doesn't exist, so I'll go with Citrine. Uh, Rosado is in the game, though. Alfred's in the game. Who cares? Ooh. Um, I think Ivy's class is way more unique um, compared to Zelkov. Again, Zelkov has to, you know, get the four levels, which and that might be, I might be being, like, unfair to Zelkov, but I just don't, I, I don't see, like, the real point. Like, you have Marin right there. You have to get to it, it's like the um three houses wyvern like wy wyvern meta thing where, where like yeah you can have like more you can have more wyverns if you want but you also have a limited amount of um battalions to make use of for the flying battalions for, to make use for um wyverns and that and like in that sense like you if you wanted to like use like zolkov for to get to number three you're taking away from like a probably useful emblem if you want him to be actually very good in, like, as the Kagetsu number three. Um, so you take away an em like an emblem from Marin or Kagetsu to uh, compensate for Zelkov. Whereas like those two can be a wyvern, a warrior for free, essentially. And he cannot. So um Yeah, I I'm gonna go with Ivy. It's more unique. Um, I don't know. I I I, I don't know these two. Like I tie, but the one thing you can say for Zelkov is that like Zelkov, you might not want to reclass him even because like you can get the covert bonus for a Lin, um, which makes enables some faster clears for like the match where you can't warp, because then you can bait the enemy to um. With Astro Storm, you can bait the enemy to come closer to you. Uh, that's a weird, that's a weird utility though. Sapphire can probably be okay. I, I don't know. Honestly, between these two, it, it, they're so weird. I'll, I'll go with Zelkov because I just feel like I've been really harsh to him. I do, I do think Sapphire is better than Jean. Or John, sorry. Um, Battle of the Worthless. John has Chain Guard. I'll go with John. Uh, Bunei's in the game though. Kagetsu versus Hortensia. If I wanted to be really bold, I would go with Hortensia, but uh, Kagetsu joins earlier than her for like for ta chapter 13 specifically. That's that matters for chapter 14 even. Like that will matter. Um, and also Kagetsu has access to the things that Kagetsu is um is in chapters where Hortensia doesn't have Makaya. Um, so Kagetsu will be good in those chapters, whereas Hortensia will be okay, will be like fine uh, for her staff duties that she can actually afford to do. Um, but like, sh it's also mostly just self improvement until she gets World Tree. If you want to rely on World Tree, I don't know. I think it's just the safe pick, to, the safe bet to pick Kagetsu here. Uh, Amber versus Hortensia. Amber's good. Uh, I just think... I, going back to this, though, like, Hortensia will... The stocks will rise for the late game, where I just don't think the late game is that fun. So you want to warp skip a lot of those maps? Um, and in that sense, like, Hortensia can be better, because she enables those warp skips. Like, it can be replicated, but the one... the one space of, like, 
the one extra space of warp does make a difference. Especially on something like chapter 25. Um, so yeah, that's why like, I value Hortensia. And in that sense, I'll put Hortensia higher. Uh, Amber versus Mavie. Mavie just joins too late. I'm sorry. Like, same. Like, I, I just think he joins too late. He's joined too late, and I just don't. I'm. I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm not really that fan. A bigger fan. Mavie is basically going to have the same amount of like utility as Yunaka will. In throughout the game, and I also just think like. Yunaka has like a special, a special utility, um, whereas Mavie is just going to be like. You're like warrior number five with like the super stats or something. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to be controversial on Yunaka here. I do think Mavia is better than Boucheron. Um, Boucheron's in the game. Jade's in the game. Okay. Um, Alir versus Pendrail. This could be weird. You can you can make the argument for Alir, but I also just think Pendrail is just solidly good. And there's like there's times where I just feel like the best option to do with Alir is just to move somewhere and not see combat. I'll go with uh, Pendrail. This is this one might even go towards Alir's favor at some point, but I'll pick Chloe for now. I do think Alir's better than Saline. I actually think Ate is better than Saline at this point. So is Alcaris. This one might be um, controversial. Um, it's a weird. These are two like utility lords, but I think you can almost ignore Diamond. Um, so I'll go with Saline. The thing that, like, you can use Diamond as a flunky for the later Brodia arc if you want to. But then you regret it because, like, he just isn't that good. Um, as, like, an investment project, whereas Linden, I think, will probably be a decent investment project. So, I'll go with Linden here. Uh, I do think, I, I actually do think Diamond's better than Klon. Like, I, I just don't like Klon. Like, the only time I would like Klon is for him to, like, maybe try to do one round. Try to one round a uh, Armor Knight. I'm not even sure if he does that consistently. I'm going to go with Diamond. Oh, excuse me, sorry. This one's hard, uh, but I'll go with Klon here. Uh, the fact that he could probably damage an Armor Knight is kind of big. Uh, Tamara, though. Who cares? Ooh. Now, how much am I going to value Marin being a... You get to number two here because that's like the diff big difference of if whether or not you want to put Marion in like an A tier, like a high A tier or an S tier, um, and above Sadal. I might be showing my Marin bias, but I'll pick Marin. I do think Sadal's better though. Alir joins way before Veil. I'll pick Alir. Um, I, I really don't know what you're supposed to be doing with Legato. I'm going to pick Veil here, because I just don't know. Uh, again, I have no sweet clue how, like, how long this guy can be, like, good. Um, so I, I, I really don't know. Whereas Vonder, I think, is solid. Without too much investment. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. I'll go, I'll go with Fogato just because I okay here here yeah here's my hot take I do think Vaughn is better than Louis now straight up um like it it's it comes it comes down to HP and move Vonder has like more HP which I think kind of matter like I think it almost negates Louis like defense um, bonus and like the six move means he can do like he. Can, he can get to places faster. I, I, I'm, I pick in Vonder. I don't know if I want to meme enough to put like Fromm above Louis. It's funny, but like, while Louis relevant, you also have Saline there, and Saline's, what is it? It's not generosity. The it's like the tea time. Her Saline's perf, um, or preference skill basically is a better hero than Fromm is. So I'm gonna go with. Louis. Um, 
Oh, this is such a weird matchup. I I don't know. It's, it's like investment versus not too much investment. I, I'm going to be called Fram. I just think it's funnier to pick Fram. Lapis is in the game. Pan is in the game. Um, Ivy versus Panette. I just think that Panette's better now. Um, Ivy versus Citrine. I think the combat is almost is kind of similar. I in my current playthrough, I think when I compared Citrine to Ivy when Ivy joined, I think Citrine had more magic, which is funny. Um, Ivy does have like the Linworm class though. I'll go with Ivy. I, I feel like I'm, I'm being harsh if I pick Citrine over her. I don't know. <laughs> this is, again, another weird matchup. Like, I don't... I, I really don't know. Like, My thoughts right now is that Citrine can promote before Zalkaw can do... Could get to number th three strats. Um, and I also... I, I'm kind of on the wave that I, I think being a better magical unit is better than being a, a, a whatever physical unit. Um, and she can use like Levin Sword and like Mage Knight. I, I want to pick Citrine, just to be funny. Uh, Zelkov versus Rosado. I, mean, I guess Zelkov can. By the time Rosado joins, Zelkov can be better. Uh, a better Rosado. Um, yeah, I can't, I, I can't defend Rosado here, I suppose, it, like, Rosado probably loses out. Um, I guess I'll explain why I like Rosado, um, and it's mainly because I like him with, with a long, I like him with a longbow in his personal skill, um, but that, that's such a meme, um, eh, as much as it hurts to hit, hurts me here, I had, I had to pick Zalkov, just because I know, he, I think he has better like, his better stats in Wyvern. Can, I don't know. Or Wyvern or, or, um, or I don't actually know if he has better stats in, in, in Rosado, base Rosado in, in Wyvern. I think he might have better strength than base Rosado in Warrior. I don't know. I actually don't know the top on the top of my head if what Rosado's bases are in Warrior. Ugh, I, I, I'm I'm struggling. I'll just pick Zelkov. I feel like you have to. I feel like these are the same unit. No, they're, they're not. Um. How many times can I? How can? How much I can I defend Rosado here? I don't. I don't know. I'll pick Saf, Saf here. Um, just because I feel like if I don't pick Saf here, I'll be wrong. I I'm gonna say that Rosado is probably better than than John. Like, I I just don't see the point of John. Um, Alfred too. Like Alfred's available in chapters are that John is not in. John's in the game though. Bumay's in the game. That's like the only. Match that Bunei is gonna win. Tie. I still do think Cadets is better. Um, I think Hortense is better. Hmm. I'm really liking Amber right now, but I also th what like what I just said. I think being having good magic combat, I think might be higher value to me now than it than having like a decent um physical combat. This might change. Like, I almost want to hit Ty here. But, uh, Eleven Sword, I think, is just strong. Like, you can use Chloe with, um... With, uh, what's her face? With Erica, you can use Chloe with Chloe... With, um, Chloe or Chloe. You can use Chloe with Corin. I, I like, um... I, I find Chloe is very versatile with the magic emblems. I wonder how she's with Celica. Maybe, that might be something I want to try at some point. This one's weird. Like, this one almost is a tie for me as well. Um, I really don't know. 
Like, do I want to value, um, Amber's weird combat? It's not, I, I shouldn't say weird, it's, it's just good combat. Or do I want to value, um, Aaliyah for being, having Aaliyah stuff? I, I really, this one is so hard to me. I, I really don't, I, I need to look at the stats, but I, I don't want to look at the stats because I, I feel like I want to do this raw. I don't want to like look at Oife to um, fact check myself. Oh, this, this one is so hard. I, I guess Alir is available during the Fear and A arc and like, being the or only sword you in the Fear and A arc, Fear and A arc does matter. Oh, th this one is legitimately so hard for me. Excuse me. Um, I, I, I'll go with Alir. I do think Amber might be better. He's, Amber's cheaper. Oh, hey, the, what a good, uh, what a good matchup here. Whereas, Gold Mary, I think, is also cheaper. Um, I like Atia, but I, Gold Mary does the role for free. Atia does require investment. Um, Yeah, I think Golden Mary probably is better. Um, this is weird now. Um, like, I like Etie. You know, you know what the weird thing is? Like, I think this speaks more to where I want to put Alcris than is where I want to put either of these two. Because you would say Alcris is probably better than Yunaka, but if you want to say like the matchup is actually fairly even towards Etie and Alcaris. Like, um, then where does that put Yunaka or like Alcaris? Cause like, I almost took, took a spit take and said that, oh, Yunaka, this is not that bad. But the, but then I thought back to Alcaris. Whereas like Alcaris is, um, like Alcaris, um, Etie debate isn't, isn't, there's not much of a difference between them. In that regard, the Yunaka Ete debate that that either means that Ete should be definitely better than Yaka because if we if we think that Alcris is better than Yunaka, then Ete is better than Yunaka. If we want to say that they're similar, um, I don't know if I'm being confusing here, but. Yeah, yeah, Ete might be better than, than Yunaka. Um, if you train her. Which, more often than not, you probably, it's probably not that bad to train her. Um, I'll go with Ete. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, see, like, there we go again. Um, yeah, for consistency's sake, consistently, consistency's sake, because I just talked about Alcris versus Yunaka, I'll go with Alcris here. I feel like I'm being harsh to Yunaka, because I like Yunaka, but, oh well. Oh. You know, I, I, I might actually like Yunaka more. Because... I think Sailing... They're both similar to the fact that, like, they're both good until they lose the uh, thing that people th claim is their, like, their personal weapon. Um, for Sailing, it's um, warp, like having uh, access to Celica. For Yunaka, it's having access to like a Forged Dagger. Um, you have to like spend money for the Forged Dagger, but oh well. Um, I don't know, I, I think I might go with Yunaka here. And that might be like Yunaka bias, but I, I think like you, you give, you start like, once you get Citrine, you just get rid of Saline, I think. Um, whereas Yunaka can stay on the, the Brodian arc, like, I don't think there's any, that many better units than her, or, um, even, like, if you take away her, um, her, her dagger and give it to, like, someone like a Wolf Knight, um, Amber, like, she still has, like, speed, at the very least, so she can act as, as, as a, like, a weird flunky if you wanted her to, 
I'll go with Yanaka. Um, Celine versus Mavier. Um, I think th at this point I'm just gonna. I actually probably would value Mavier's um stats over Celine. It's weird as it sounds. I do think Celine's a lot better than him. I think Linden's probably better than him. Ah. I'm just gonna say Diamond's better. He's like. You want to get rid of you want to get rid of this guy as fast as possible oh I, I have no idea I, I I have I have no idea between these two like th this this matchup is like wow this is like comparing Walton Boars. It's yeah, it's it's like comparing Walton Boars. Um Yeah, it's funny. I, I really don't know. I'm I'm gonna just pick Klan. Because I I don't think Klan's won yet. I don't think any of these these units have won yet. That's why they're here. Bushrod I think might actually clear here. Oh god. Wow, th th this is We've hit rock bottom here. I think Sandstorm, if it can proc, is funny. Jade has no such thing. But Jade doesn't have to rely on Sandstorm, which is a, a blessing. Th this one, like... Like, I, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I... They're both so bad. I feel so bad for them. I, like, I feel Tamara gets nothing. I feel like Jade gets nothing. Like, this is so... I feel so bad. I like Jade, too. And I also like Tamara. Um, oh god. Uh, I don't know if I want to praise Jade for joining earlier. Because I've used Jade on chapter 10 before and chapter 11. And she was bad. Um, I. God. I really don't know. I, I guess Tamara can break some wyverns in her joint chapter. I might, I might go with Tamara here, honestly. Jade's in the game. Who cares? Ooh, <laughs> the prince's uh, the princess's um protection squad. Um, yeah, they, it basically is like defying K Kagetsu versus um. Versus Panette. Um, I'm going to go with the Panette in that case. I actually do kind of like... I, I do like the um, the specialization that Panette is, focuses on. I actually do like Marin more than Ivy. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, same. I honestly might say that Alir is better than Ivy. Like, Ivy is so, so, so inconsistent. If you're not making her a staffer. Um, Ivy is a lot around for longer than Bale is, though. I think Citrine might be better than Bale. In terms of, like, just being lo there longer. Okay, you know what? Like, he might be there longer than Bale, but, like, I think Bale's utility at, of, like, being your, your failsafe is a lot more interesting than being Kagetsu number three. I, I don't know. I I I, I don't know. I I really I'm going Zelkov. Like I, I don't know where this guy lands. Um. Again, I don't know. Uh, he he joins earlier. Yeah, it's weird. This is weird. Maybe Sapphire. May I, I'll just pick Sapphire. Oh how. Like, when can I, like, say something positive about Rosado? Is this, like, forcing me to say that Rosado's bad? It might be. It might be doing that. Uh, oh, God. I feel bad for doing this. Can we, can we go, like... Hmm. 
Now, here's the thing though, is if I say Vonder's Rosado is worse than Vonder, is Rosado worse than Louis? Look, the thing is, like, the thing I would like to say, and like, it, it's not true for Vonder. Like, it, like, it, it would be contradictory to say it's true for like the Vonder thing, but like, the thing is, like, Louis is gonna be absolutely dog by the time Rosado joins. Um, like, and I don't know if he like actually is that good for like chapter seventeen. Rosado might not be that good either, but I don't know. I, I didn't think he was that bad when I used him there. I'm just gonna say Rosal to be funny. Uh, I do think Louis is better than Alfred, though. Alfred versus Fromm is weird. I'm gonna pick Fromm to be funny. You know, I'm just gonna pick Alfred so Lapis, Lapis goes lower. Um, you know, what? I'll pick Lapis over John. Like, Lapis can like reclass the hero and then the wyvern, and she's okay. I, she might even be decent in hero. Where's John is like so whatever. Oh great, the, the real classic matchup. I, I might just pick Ayana because uh Radiant Bow meme. John's in the game though. Uh again, the only matchups Bune is gonna win. Whatever. Oh, here we go. Um if I s now I think it is easier to say that Marin is worse than Panette. Um, because I think Marin is probably worse than Kagetsu. Um but between Panette and Kigetsu, it, it is a lot closer. Not that much closer, actually, but... But I actually do... Again, I'll, I'll be consistent here and say I do prefer the specialization of Panette. Um, whether or not this will bite me in the ass later, I don't know. But we'll see. Ah, uh, uh, You know what? You know what? <laughs> Tie. I, I don't care. Um... You know what? I actually do kind of think Hortensia is a lot more special than Sadal. Although, like, you, you basically... I was gonna say, like... By the time Hortensia is, like, a beast, you also have... You're gonna probably have, like, a Byleth user with her. But you also need, um, Sadal to do a dance anyway. And you want, probably want Sadal in that Byleth dance. But I also just think, like, there are warp skips that... There are skips that require Hortensia, um, and probably... You can probably work around to not require Sadal. I'm going to go with Hortensia. I do think Sadal is better than Pandrero, though. I don't remember where I... Ah, it's going to be hard to um remember what I did with the female. Because I, I think we had female versus um Pandrero. Um, I'm going to go with... um Pandrero. I should have just, like... What I should have done instead was I should have just disqualified one of the genders and... um. Just assumed them as one gender. I, I I don't know. Whatever. I think I did this. Oh god, tie. Whatever. Um. This is weird now because I've been seeing the praise of this. I I want to almost put him better over the knife over Ivy. In fact, I'm gonna do it be funny. Um, I would almost do this too, but I. I Probably think I just like I have to like set a point like a point where um, Ivy needs to, is better than some of these units and unfortunately I have to do it set that at Gold Mary. Gold Mary versus Citrine's weird, but I think you could ignore Citrine because you'll have like a, you'll have a Pandreo and then you if you're using Chloe I think Chloe's better than Citrine. Gold Mary has, is like in a league of her own, maybe not, but like. I kind of think she's just that cheap to do her thing, so like I'm just gonna do that. Oh, weird, uh, weird matchup. Um, ah, eh, Citrine's is like Citrine's niche is um a little more specialized, um, and it's like a lot cheaper just to take Sa um Celica off Saline than it is to uh, take. Um, Sigurd off of, like, Chloe. I I'll go with Citrine here. Ooh, I wonder... That's gonna be really bad when I have to rank um, Citrine versus Alcris. But Citrine might honestly be better. Uh, Veil versus Etie. It is good. Way before Veil joins. 
Veil's gonna be such a weird unit to uh, rank. Um, I might. I'm gonna pick Etty. I'm gonna pick Alchris too. I think that's be funny. But basically, we'll have the same utility for the same amount of time. Um, I'll go with Veil. I actually do think Yonaka is better because because you're going to be using Yonaka uh, when you have to use her. I think you can ignore Zalkov. Yeah, I, 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 that's that's how I'm going to say it. Like, I think you can. I legitimately think you can ignore Zalkov if you if you need like at that point. Um, weird. Uh, I'll, Mabie, I don't know. Ugh. I, I, uh. It's like three chapters. Zalkov can do stuff in the real part of the game. I, I'll pick Zalkov. It, it's, this is such a weird, I, I'm going to pick Saline. I don't care. Um... Lind I'm just gonna start saying people are better than no 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 I think he's probably better. Uh oh god I, I really don't know. I Zapier. I actually do think Vaughn is better. You know what? Fuck it, I think Rosada's better. Louis is probably better. I really like these two um th these two support. It's a very good support, honestly. Um I'll pick Fram to be funny. Oh, oh, this is the... Now we're getting into the real... This this should be the debate. Forget Alcris versus um, Ete. This is the real debate. Alfred versus Diamond. Um, I think Diamond is less painful to use for... um, Like the Brodia arc and... Bits of Solm. I'll pick Diamond, actually. I do think Alfred's better. Oh. Yeah, Lapis has something that you can do. Like, I, I just don't like Claw that much. You have to invest into her to do stuff. This is a weird matchup. I'm, I'm gonna pick Clan. I... I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Maybe I'll pick Anne to be funny. Oh, this is... This one I don't know. I we're so close to being done as well. I um uh this hurts. I don't know what to do. I, I'm just gonna pick Tamara because I, I don't care. Ugh. I, Jean could probably like chain guard stuff before Jay can actually do anything. Um, oh good. Uh, you know what? I'm picking Jade after support. Jade, this guy's. I don't like this guy. Uh, in the game though. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. Here we get to see. Um, we get to see the results. Okay. So, net. Oh no, what have I done? What? What? Oh, this is weird. So, Panette's number one. Yeah, that's right. But then Marin got over Kagetsu. What What matchups did I um, say that Kagetsu was worse? No, 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 the tide. The tide, okay. Okay, that's kind of funny. But it's just funny to say, like, like Marin and Kagetsu were. Marin's above Kagetsu. That's that's so that's so weird. I guess I yeah, I just I decided to tie them. Um so they I basically said that um they were all better than they all they all like won or lost the same matchups. Okay, that's cool. Retentia is number four, that's fair. Sadal is number five. Pandreo number six. Chloe is seven. The Aliers, okay, they're tied, that's fair. 
Amber, Stem, IV, Gold Mary. Gold Mary might be really high. Oh, this is. I don't know how I feel about this. This is looking weird. Oh no. So ETA, <laughs> ETA above Alcaris. What have I done? I should have tied. Yeah, I don't know. It's because I, it's, it's their matchup. So we do. So this is what I, I have said that ETA is better than Alcaris. That is so funny. Vale. Yanaka is probably way too high. Bobby Hayes separates both Zalkov from Yanaka. That's so funny. Saline. Linden, Fogato, Saphir, Bonder, Rosado. That's so weird. Okay. So Jade and Bunayata are at the bottom. That's that that's interesting. Like I Yeah, I, I think I was forcing Panette to be number one, which I think is a fair place to put her, and then Marin could get to uh Marin might be high, um, but and may and probably could get to should just be better than Marin. Um so like Marin being like number three might be still kind of high for her, but I, don't know, I like to believe it. Uh, Hortensia, yeah, again, it's at all. Andreo up there is. I don't know if I'm fine with that. I, w I would like to make this an actual tier list. Um, just to put like my thoughts into place, because I, I like having it in this like numerical order makes uh makes stuff unclear. Because I do think there's like a perhaps a big gap between Ivy and Goldmary. Citrine, I feel, is really high. Yeah, this is so weird. Let me see if I can make this a tier list. Oh, BRB here. Okay, so I translated this, this sort of, like, rankings into what I would think the tiers would look like, so this is everything that, like, one to one with the, um, was the sort of rankings, except I just made them into tiers um, because I think that's an easier way to visualize stuff. It it still looks weird to me. Um, this is basically how I do the S tier, and then it's kind of what I would think the um, A tier would look like. I think before it had had Alcris up here, but I just don't think Alcris should be there anymore. Um, the B tier looks super weird. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. Like. Omer, I think, is, like, where she should be, but then, like, I'm so surprised how high Citrine ended up, and the archers might be a little high, but then also, who else would be there? Question mark? Um... <laughs> it probably should be like this, but I said that she was better than him. This tier looks... Strange, mainly because of Linden and Saphir, but I don't know. I, I don't know how. I don't know too much about them. And then this tier is like, yeah, these are jokes. But yeah, that, that's it. That's um, that's the sorter. I, I guess the sorter came kind of came up with a tier list that I would have made. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, it's kind of funny, honestly. It's actually kind of cool how almost. Um, accurate is how it, I would think the, um, engaged tier list would look like right now, but maybe not. I don't want to, like, move anything around because I also don't want to, I don't want to make any concrete, um, suggestions on what the, the engaged tier list should be. Um, I, I kind of feel confident about, like, this S tier. Maybe, maybe, maybe Marin's a lot, is a little high, but I kind of think she can just be, could get you too. Um, but... I also just think, like, tier lists are kind of silly. Um, they're very good to tell, like, as a, you know, guideline on what units are kind of good and what kind of units are kind of bad. 
um, which I, I value its um, the utility as if you are struggling with the game, which if you're playing Manning, you can very well be struggling with the game. It's good to know, oh, how do I, um, like, am I using the correct units? Um, which can be handy. Um, but it's also handy to um, play the game and figure it out for yourself, which I think a lot of people should be doing. Um, that being said, um, this was fun. Uh, I don't really, I really hope no one takes this too seriously because it's, it's very dumb. <laughs> but um, it's also kind of cool how it turned out. So um, thank you for watching and thank you for the 100 subs and the warm reception on the videos. Uh, I'm Eat Your Greens. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.